Hey, every year, about 1,300 babies are born with a birth defect here in Utah, and the cause of about 70% of the defects aren't even known. Now, this is the case for one Utah family whose son was born with spina bifida. And though they can't change the past, this family hopes their story will inspire change for the future. Heidi Hatch has a story. Zachary Mateus is a happy, energetic four-year-old. His favorite movie, Cars 2, and his favorite superhero, Batman. However, Zachary has many challenges, more than most children his age. Zachary was born with spinal bifida, a birth defect in which the bones of the spine don't form properly around the spinal cord. Amanda, Zach's mom, was 31 weeks pregnant when she found out. You literally feel like you're just being sucked into a hole and everything is coming from far away. Um, it wasn't something that we ever expected to hear. You hear, you know, you know these things happen, but you don't ever think it'll happen to you. Birth defects like spinal bifida are very common. The National Birth Defect Prevention Network estimates that one out of every 33 babies okay. is born with a defect. On the day I was born, there was a big hole on my face. January is National Birth Defect Awareness Month. This public service announcement featuring little Zachary has hit the airwaves. On the day I was born, they told my parents I'd never be able to walk. The message, more research is needed to understand birth defects and how to prevent them. Do you like green eggs and ham? No. no. In Zachary's case, as in many cases, the cause of birth defects is not known. What is known is that he will likely spend much of his life in a wheelchair. One of the biggest challenges um, that's frustrating for him is getting up and down the stairs. Getting down, you know, easy enough, but getting up, he can do it, but it's pretty hard. And so that's a frustrating thing. And he gets frustrated that he wants to keep up with all of his friends and his brothers that are running around. Despite his limitations, Zachary has made much progress since his birth and surgeries he's endured in the past four years. But he is so strong and he amazes me. He's my hero. He inspires me. Um, and I think that he has the potential to inspire a lot of people. <laughs> Heidi Hatch, 2 News. There are ongo uh, ongoing efforts to try to reduce the number of birth defects. For example, pregnant women are encouraged to consume 400 micrograms of folic acid daily. And for more information, just go to our website, ktv.com, and click on the Baby or Baby link.